hey guys what's up i'm dinesh welcome you all to my eighth lecture of the chapter matrix and determinant in this lecture i have come with another important concepts of this chapter which is nothing but the transpose of a matrix so what is transpose of a matrix how to calculate the transpose of a matrix and what are the properties of transpose of a matrix so if we write the rows of the matrix as column and column as rows we get the transpose so how to get the transpose just write the rows of the matrix as column and column as rows in simple word just interchange the rows into column of the matrix to get the transpose so you will better understand if i take the example so the first matrix i have taken 1 2 3 4 which is nothing but a 2 cross 2 matrix to find out its transpose just write a transpose and interchange the rows into column it has rows r1 this is r2 just write rows into column r1 written as c1 if i write r1 as c1 i will get 1 2 and r2 as c2 i will get 3 4 so a transpose is 1 3 2 4 i just interchange the rows into column first rows into first column and second rows into second column to get its transpose so next example is a 3 cross 3 matrix uh, given v equals to 1 1 2 2 1 3 4 2 2 so b transpose how can you write just interchange the rows into columns this is r1 r2 and r3 just write r1 as c1 you will get 1 1 2 r2 as c2 you will get 2 1 3 and r3 as c3 you will get 4 2 2 so this is your b transpose which is the transpose of matrix b and the final example c equals to a b c d e f which is a 3 cross 2 matrix if you take its transpose you will get c transpose which is you just write its rows as its column r1 as c1 r2 as c2 and r3 as c3 you will get a b c d and e f and which is also a 2 cross 3 matrix so what you get here you can look here carefully a 3 cross 2 matrix has transpose of order 2 cross 3 so if a matrix a is of order m cross n then a transpose must be order n cross n which is very important to remind let's move into the properties of the matrix so what are the properties of transpose of a matrix so first properties is a plus b transpose equals to a transpose plus b transpose then second properties is k a transpose where k is any constant k is any constant or any scalar so k a transpose equals to k a transpose third properties is a transpose of transpose is equal to a which is important to remind transpose of a transpose is the same matrix if you take a matrix take its transpose then again take its transpose of the transpose then you will get the same matrix again so the next properties is a b transpose if you have two matrix a and b you take the transpose of a b then you will get b transpose a transpose which is very important to remind is not equals to a transpose b transpose and the final property is determinant of a is equals to determinant of a transpose in word you can say that transposition leaves the value of determinant unchanged transposition leaves the value of determinant unchanged so let's prove all the properties in very few time so you have a 1 2 3 4 prove that first question is prove that a transpose of transpose is equal to a 
so to prove first question you take a transpose you will write just interchange the rows into column you will get 1 2 3 4 is a transpose you again take the transpose of a transpose you will get take the rows into column you will get 1 3 2 4 which is nothing but a so you proved a transpose transpose of a transpose is equal to a so first properties is proved second question is 2 a transpose is equal to 2 into a transpose just 2a equals to how much just multiply 2 in all entries you will get 2 1 2 3 4 2 multiplied in the matrix 1 2 3 4 you will get simply multiply all 2 into all the entries you will get 2 4 6 8 and take its transpose transpose of 2a is nothing but change its rows into column you will get 2 4 6 8 and let's take 2 into a transpose you will get 2 into a transpose is nothing but you have already calculated 1 3 2 4 so which will give you 2 6 4 8 so you will prove your 2a transpose is equal to 2 into a transpose and finally prove determinant of a equals to determinant of a transpose so first calculate determinant of a which is very easy that's nothing but 1 2 3 4 determinant you just multiply this and minus the non-diagonal elements multiplication of diagonal elements minus multiplication of non-diagonal element you will get 4 minus 6 equals to minus 2 and take it then find out the determinant of a transpose which is nothing but determinant of you have calculated a transpose 1 3 2 4 which is the multiplication of diagonal elements into 1 into 4 minus the multiplication of non-diagonal element 3 into 2 6 which will give you 4 minus 6 equals to minus 2 so what you proved determinant of a equals to determinant of a transpose so you get proved it determinant of a equals to determinant of a transpose so all the uh, three properties first second third and fifth properties has been proved already let's move to the proof of second and fourth properties so question given is given a is 0 1 3 for v is 1 0 0 3 just prove a plus b transpose is equal to a transpose plus b transpose first calculate a plus b you you just add the corresponding entries you get a plus b equals to 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 3 plus 0 3 and 4 plus 3 7 you take a plus b transpose you will get just change the rows into column r1 into r1 as c1 and r2 as c2 you will get a plus b transpose is equal to 1 3 1 7 and let's find a transpose plus b transpose if you take a transpose you will get 0 1 first column and 3 4 second column plus b transpose 1 0 as first column and 0 3 as second column you just add the corresponding entries you will get 1 3 plus 0 3 1 plus 0 1 4 plus 3 7 you get a plus b is 1 3 1 7 and a trans a plus b transpose equals to 1 3 1 7 which is equal to a transpose plus b transpose so a plus b transpose is equal to a transpose plus a transpose plus B transpose. 
so sorry uh, the question was not uh, seen earlier so let's see the question and the second question is a v transpose is equal to proof a v transpose is equal to b transpose a transpose so first calculate a v you will get uh, 0 1 3 4 into 1 0 0 3 I have already done lecture on multiplication of matrix so you will get 0 1 0 plus 1 0 first entry is 0 then second entry is 3 third is 3 and fourth is 12 so if you take its transposition you will get 0 3 3 12 so next job is take b transpose a transpose so simply your b transpose is uh, from here v transpose 1 0 0 3 and a transpose is your 0 3 1 4 you will get if you multiply this you will get 0 3 3 12 so a v transpose is equal to p transpose a transpose which is proved so if this video is helpful for you please like the video share the video and never forget to subscribe to the channel thank you all